Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about um, a common error that I see a lot of people making. And that is, we're going to sit here, we're going to hit play, we're going to watch this number tick up, everything seems to be running smoothly, and we're going to hit escape, and then we have this error message. And you click on it, and it's the dreaded access none error. And everybody gets really frustrated and they're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Everything compiled fine, my game runs fine, except when I exit, I get this error here. So let's take a look at what this is actually saying. It says access none trying to read property K2 dynamic cast as third person character from a particular function. And that's in our first level set text in the event graph. In this object, again, it's our first level blueprint. Access none trying to read this property, dynamic cast as third person character. So that tells us exactly where this error is occurring. It's in our level blueprint with the cast to our third person character. So if I minimize that for a minute, I go into our level blueprint, and I can see right here we have a cast to our third person character. And this is where our problem is occurring. So you guys can see right here, I have a little widget, and this number in red here, I am changing the value of on tick. And I'm just setting it to this test value. So our test value starts at zero, and every tick, we're going to increment it, and then we're going to set this widget. Now, a lot of you guys have learned how to cast, and you've learned how to get references and do all kinds of stuff like this, and yet sometimes you still get this access none error. And if you notice, if you hit compile, the engine is perfectly fine with this code because this is going to give you a runtime error, not a compile time error. So the logic works. It's just when you actually try and implement it, you'll see that there's an issue. And the issue is this artificial delay that I've put in. So what this is going to do is when our level gets initialized, it's going to start this event begin play and it's going to start this event tick. But the event begin play is going to wait half a second whereas the event tick is going to run immediately every frame. And the event tick is going to take our test value from 0, increment it, so it's going to be 1, and then it's going to try and set this text here. Now, if you walk back from the target, you'll see the text is going to be our tick rate, which is just what I named this variable here. This text variable is called tick rate. So it's going to try and set that, and that's part of our first, um, my first widget reference. This is a widget reference here. That's how we were able to get this tick. And we got that because the widget's created in the third person character. So in order for us to get any of this information out, we need to actually have event begin play run. And then it'll create valid references for all of this stuff. And with the valid reference to our third person character, we can get a valid reference to our widget. And then we can get a valid reference to the tick rate um, text variable which can then be set on tick. The problem with putting a delay in is that the tick is trying to set this before this execution path has finished. What that means is that these variables, these references here, are not going to be valid for the first half second. And afterwards, you'll see that they become valid. So if I get rid of this delay and hook this up directly, we hit compile, and now we're going to play. And you'll see our, num our number starts counting up immediately. And then when I exit the game, you see we don't get any errors. Now, an interesting thing, you guys, um, to note, and this will help you with troubleshooting these errors and see how severe they are. If I have this delay for half a second, let me just show you guys again. I run for a little bit. It doesn't matter how long I let this run. If I hit Escape you'll see we have maybe 10 errors here. And that's for each of the frames that tried to go by without a valid reference. Watch what happens with the exact same setup, except I make this delay two seconds. Now if I hit play, you see it waits two seconds. Now it starts counting. And then I'll hit escape. And you see we have many, many, many more errors of access none. And that's because it now tried to go for two seconds without having any valid references. And afterwards, it had valid references. It stopped making these errors. So access none errors 
are basically issues with timing, issues with creating proper references. So while this one is easily fixed by removing um, this arbitrary delay that I've put in, what I see people doing a lot um, when they learn about references and they learn about creating these variables is they'll come here and they'll say test reference. We'll just call this variable that. And I'm going to go over here to the variable type and I'm going to make it of type my first widget. And you see this is an object type and we'll give it an object reference. Now what you'll notice is if I drag this one out and say get, you see how it doesn't have a target pin. This one is assuming that I've already filled this variable with, some, with a valid reference. So if we click on this, let me hit compile, you'll notice that the reference says none. And this is what I think confuses a lot of people with these types of references, with object references. Even though this will work, because this is the correct object type, if I try and play this, you see absolutely nothing is going to change here. And if I hit escape, I just have a long, long, long list of access none. If I hit play and hit escape really quick, you'll see that list is shorter. It's still a lot, but it's shorter. And that's because the game was only running for maybe a second or two. So it was only able to make this many errors. The problem with this type is, you'll notice if the longer you play your game, the longer that list becomes of access none. That means that the whatever you did, however you created your references, is not being fixed eventually. Like this one would be fixed after a couple seconds, it would have a valid reference. This means that you probably did something like this and you have a completely empty reference that's never getting filled with an actual object. So we can fix this by doing something like this. If we take this actual reference here, and then we drag out the variable that we made, hold Alt and set it, we're now going to fill this reference here, and this should work fine. So if I get rid of this delay, We'll hit compile and save, and we'll hit play, and you see the number actually starts counting up. And we hit escape, there's no errors. So because we actually took a valid cast, created a valid reference, and set this variable here, now you can use a variable like this because we've actually filled um, this variable type with a particular object. And that's what I think a lot of people forget to do is they figure out how to do this and how to get, you know, something to compile. And they think if it compiles that, you know, they're not going to have any errors or they shouldn't have any errors. And what they don't realize is these runtime errors will come in later if you don't give your references valid objects to work on. So that's pretty much it for the access none. Obviously, there's a lot of different ways that this can happen. Um, probably one of the more common ones that's a little bit harder to track down if you do everything right is just sometimes the engine will initiate you know like a level blueprint before it does the character blueprint before it does a widget certain things like that and there'll be like a few um, tenths of a second or something off between uh, the blueprint initialization and you'll be trying to use something from a blueprint that isn't initialized right away or it's initialized after something that needs to use a reference within that blueprint. So if the level blueprint started up before the third person character blueprint, and then we tried to do this cast, and there wasn't a third person character in the level at the time, then this would fail, you know, for the first tenth of a second or whatever. And then if you tried to do it again, it would succeed. And sometimes that will cause the access none um, errors. But those, like I said, will be like one or two frames that you'll have that issue and then it'll correct itself. Um, if you see that your access none is continuing on for pages and pages and pages, you probably did something like this without setting the variable first. Alright guys, I hope you thought that was helpful and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.